All right, welcome back, guys. We are on our way to the temple. With these things, you can take off the rock or bush on top of them by grabbing it, and they'll just throw out random rupees. And when they die, I think they drop a five rupee. I'm trying to remember what these do. Oh, these are stones that when they shine, you can hit them with your sword. And if you hit them fast enough, they start dropping a bomb, apparently. They drop a bunch of ones, then a blue, and then a red. Oh, there was a money thing underneath that that I just killed. So now we get to head up to the mountains. We couldn't do it before because we needed to have the power glove, which I now have. On the way up there, we'll get a taste of one of the main mechanics of this game. The Dark World. That This house right here is a fortune teller. Um, that sign is reminiscent of something else, but... Uh, when you go to a fortune teller, you pay a fee. I think it's 20 rupees. And then they will tell you, they give you hints on what you're supposed to be doing. And I think they also give you full health. These enemies electrocute you if you hit them without stunning them. If you hit them with the bow, it stuns them, and then they're an easy kill. This is the way up to the mountain. And it's a dark cavern. Oops. There's an old man in here, and he's gotten himself lost, so I'll have to save him. And he gives you directions on where to go to get out of here. And talks to you about how his niece or someone got captured. That was a dead end. I used to, like, be able to know this place just off the top of my head. And now we're on the mountain. These enemies just turn to stone when you hit them. They can't die. Not that I'm aware of. This is the magic mirror. When you're in a dungeon, if you use the magic mirror, it uh, takes you to the beginning of the dungeon. If you talk to this guy, he'll give you full health. If you go up here... There's a little tunnel part that'll take you up higher up the mountain. I think it's actually faster to just walk up this part of the mountain. But I always like to go through here. I don't know why. I guess it's just force of habit. So, but we're, we're in a fallen rock zone by Ra. <clears throat> There's a piece of heart up here. I don't remember what's in that cave, but it doesn't matter right now. This is a portal to the dark world. While I'm turned into a rabbit, because the dark world reveals your inner self, I guess. If you use the magic mirror while in the dark world, it sends you to the light world. So I used the dark world's difference in terrain to get up here. So now I can hop down. And this here is the next dungeon. I think we're only like six or like four or three minutes in, so we'll get started. I'm trying to remember what all goes on here. These red headed skeletons, um, like when they dodge your sword like the white ones do. They will throw a bone at you. The white ones can only hurt you by running into you though. So I'll just grab that. Trap it back in. <clears throat> These little tablets. I don't know if I covered that in the first dungeon. But they're like a way for Sahasrila to communicate with you. 
down here is, for whatever reason, I find this to be the most annoying tile room in the game. Because there's a staircase here, so I can't just hide in the wall and, like, go do something else while I'm waiting. I have to actively take apart in not dying. Although it's kind of neat with the tile rooms, how, uh... If you see the pattern, they're making a pattern on the ground. And it's a skull and crossbones. I always like that. It's a nice touch in my opinion. I don't think the boomerang does anything to these things. I think it actually just bounces off of them. Yeah. There's the big key. That's an example of the mirror letting you go back. Oh, I guess I forgot the note. That when you go from the dark world to the light world using the mirror, it, uh... Oh, whoops. It will, um, leave a portal in the light world, like where you were, that if you walk into it, it takes you back to the dark world. If you notice, when I fell into that pit, I didn't, like, take damage. I just fell down the floor. That's, if you look into the, pa if you see that, like, the circles, basically, um, in the hole, that means that it's not a bottomless pit and you won't take damage from it. These star things, when you step on them, it changes the pattern of the holes in the floor. We're almost done with this dungeon, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the boss into this episode. Something interesting is that the treasure in this dungeon isn't mandatory to actually finish the dungeon, but it is mandatory to f go through the game. So it's not uh, uncommon for people to... uh actually not get this treasure the big chest is up here across that pit so it's not possible to cross that pit unless you're like superhuman basically I saw a tool assisted speed run where a person was able to like if you mash the like up and down button really fast you can actually basically crawl across that pit really slowly I'm falling all the way down to the bottom of the dungeon. Hidden fairy room. That was an example of how you can let fairies out. I guess it wasn't really necessary, but here's a portal that'll take me back upstairs. That the green means that it's a uh, like a drop off portal, while the gold of when I went into it was saying that that's a portal you enter. Alright, I want to say this is where the treasure is. I was wrong. Alright, so yeah, I'm not going to get to the boss on this episode. I think I want to step on this. Here it is. Geronimo. And this is the Moon Pearl. The Moon Pearl makes your... Uh, I'm trying to think how to explain it. When you go into the Dark World, you don't turn into a rabbit. That's what the Moon Pearl does. I guess it's not that complex. Alrighty, so over here... I guess I did not sw flip the switch to open up those jars. I just threw myself down another floor on accident. Again. Th 
This is probably what I find to be the most annoying boss in the game, is this one. It's similar to the very first boss in um, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Okay, so this episode we found the Moon Pearl and got up to the third dungeon. Next episode we will take on the boss. Go away, you thing. Alright, see you next time.